Alright folks, we got another game for you. It's called Forbidden Island. Two to four players. Who puts this out? Game right. Game Right puts this out. Alright, so we're gonna hand it over to Pablo again. He's gonna explain his box opening. The tin opening. Tin. Tin. Yeah. Not, cool. regular, not cardboard this time. Wow. So you don't make games like that no more, do they? That's one of the reasons why I liked it, because it came in a tin. tin yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forbidden Island. Uh, this here is the water level, and there is a little marker oh, here. Oh, storm surge. So... <laughs> Looks like the range game from the Price is Right. This is kind of like Pandemic, <laughs> where if there's ever a Water Rises card, then the level of the water goes up according to whatever we get. These numbers here represent the number of tiles, cards that are drawn. Okay. So you start with two, then three, then four, then five, and once it gets to the uh, the skull and crossbone, it's over. Then it's over. So we'll start the game at normal. <clears throat> um, these are the pawns for each of the characters. As you can see, they they're not within oh. different colors. Yeah, different colors there. Um, these are the different artifacts that you have to collect throughout the game. That's the Stone of Earth, the Cup of Water, the Pegasus. Statue of Wind, <laughs> and the Crystal of Fire. Wow. And basically the name of the game is to collect the artifacts. You're going onto this island to, to collect, collect the artifacts. artifacts. <clears throat> These tiles represent the island. And as you can see, there are different different uh, places to the island. There's the Tidal Palace, the Howling Garden, Whispering Garden, Bronze Gate. And there's a, there's a whole mess of, mess of them here. And I'll show you what, you know, what they all mean okay. when, when we set the game up. <clears throat> First ones I'm going to show you are the characters. You have a pilot, messenger, navigator, diver, explorer, and engineer. And as you can see, the colors correspond to the tokens. Okay. You draw them at random, right? Yeah, we can draw them at random. Um, what's great about this is uh, all the rules, the order of play, and the actions are on the back of the cards. Okay. So you don't. You know, you don't have to keep referring to the to the, the rule book. The order of play, you take up to three actions. Um, you draw two treasure cards, and then you draw draw two flood cards. And the actions that you can do is move. Um, unless you're a certain character, you cannot move diagonally. It has to be adjacent to each tile. Okay. You can shore up a tile, which means, as you can see, Whispering Gardens is in color. On the other side, it's in blue. When it's in blue, that means the tile is flooded. So when you shore up a tile, all you have to do is bring it back to the color side. And basically, you're, what you're doing is you're, you're removing all the water off that tile. Um, you can give a treasure card to anybody that's on the same tile that you're on, or you can capture a treasure. And to capture a treasure, you need uh, four of the matching tile, um, the matching cards on that matching tile. So, for instance, if you are on Whispering Garden, there's a fire one, right? This is the uh, wind. Oh, the this, wind. The right. statue wind. Um, <clears throat> you need four of those cards to capture that artifact. When you do, you have to land on that tile in order to capture that artifact. Okay. And basically what you do is you hand in those four matching cards in order to collect the, the artifact. And where do the cards go? Are they um, yours you keep or are they just get shuffled? No, they get discarded. They get, no, they get shuffled back in anymore. anymore. Okay. No, no, they get shuffled back into the deck. Oh, okay. Um, these are the treasure cards. And as you can see, there's the wind Statue dog. of Wind. There's a helicopter lifts. Um, any of these special event cards you can play at any time. They don't count as an action. Um, there are helicopter lifts and sandbags. <laughs> and sandbags lets you shore up going from water to no water as an event. You don't have to spend an action for that. 
and every time you you every time you use these, you just basically discard them. So you're basically on an island that the hurricane's coming, and you gotta. Right. <clears throat> there are also water rises cards, and whenever a water rises card comes up, you move the lever up by one. So instead of two cards, you're drawing three cards. Then you shuffle the ones that have been discarded into or are on top of the um, the flood draw pile. And from there, we just keep drawing whatever cards. So if you have to draw three, then you're drawing three cards. Okay. Basically. Um, all right, that's the treasure cards. And then these are, these as you can see correspond to the different tiles. So like here's the, t the t title palace, that's okay. the title palace. Here's the iron gate, the iron gate. <clears throat> Fool's Landing is the only one that doesn't have, oh no, there is a tile that's Fool's Landing. Fool's Landing is the only way that we can win this game. Because all of us have to be at Fool's Landing and have a helicopter lift card to get off the island. Okay, so with all four treasures. Okay, so we got to go there. So in the middle, middle of a hurricane, we're in this island. We got to collect all the treasures and the helicopter out before the island sinks. Okay. And right. that's 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 basically bad what it is. So it sounds like the night. <laughs> All right, so we'll set this up and uh, stay tuned for part two and get the uh, start gameplay.